Welcome to the Helldivers, the galaxy's last line of offense. Catchphrase out of the way, heavy casualties in recent major orders have left us recruiting lots of fresh meat. That's you, Helldiver! To get you all up to speed on interstellar infantry combat, I've been tasked with ushering two cadets through the nine levels of mission difficulty and expanding upon the devices used to secure our victory. Do not take this journey lightly, Helldiver. Everything outside of Super Earth is trying to squash your patriotism and your body, be it from ambush. Whoa! Where did you come from? Why? Acceleration. Oh, what? What just happened? Or being forced through rock and stone. Dude, what the- Ah! I- mm. <laughs> Anything that isn't human is a threat to democracy, so join us on the Sovereign of Dawn. Grab your allies, select your stratagems, and let's- What a wonderful start, and a great way to introduce you to your mortality. Your vigor is next to irrelevant. If the planet wants you to die, it will vomit enemies at you until you start drowning in limbs. And if anything touches you, you'll be slowed to a crawl. Since we're all running the default loadout for this trivial mission, we'll take this chance to introduce you to the most important skill, diving. Who would have thought that diving through hell would be imperative as a hell diver? This maneuver cleanses you of slowing effects that aren't related to your fractured femurs. This also provides omnidirectional dodging, explosion resistance, ah. and temporary paralysis. Ah. While you were practicing how to properly eat dirt, we eliminated the Terminant Brood Commander and embraced our camaraderie. Easy catch. What a glorious victory! These Terminids will be no problem at all. On to the next mission! With each increase in difficulty, the amount of enemies and frequency of stronger enemies will increase as well. As such, we should adapt to this strategy and come prepared with even bigger guns. Ah! Why? Oh, did I forget to mention that those big guns were bolted to the side of our personal spaceships and sending down explosive payloads from low orbit? Well, they are! And you better get good at Dance Dance Revolution because messing up stratagem inputs is the fastest way to get upright down down down. But more on that later. Besides, our biggest gun isn't even on the destroyer. The Seath is a mortar cannon that may still be functional in your local mission area. Just load the custom shells into the weapon and you have a new tool to defend the Super Earth flag. Oh god! Well, there. That's the Seath, run! On the topic of defense, you may have noticed that I brought a shield to a mandible fight. The ballistic shield functions as expected. If it is between you and an attack, the blow will be absorbed and your body unharmed. This is great for protecting against surprise attacks, since you wear it as a backpack when your hands are full. The problem with it is that it has a bad habit of falling off you when you tumble. At least you can guard against friendly fire with it as well. <coughs> uh, miss. Going into a medium difficulty mission, we find ourselves needing to hold out against waves of oncoming bugs. This gave us our first opportunity for specialization, and granted our monochromatic friend the title, Shadow the Mechanist. Though, right now her resources are limited to only landmines. These proximity explosives cover a wide area, and... Most every stratagem with a green icon has a bad habit of killing you since they don't discriminate between meat, chitin, and steel. Oh! Positioning is key when handling stationary stratagems, so find the safest location for each one and hope your mechanist isn't trying to kill you. As for the mines, you place them far away so that nobody trips on them. Oh. I think a strong breeze activated most of them. <laughs> because that seems to be how these fucking mines work. After an excessive amount of accidentals, and a little rookie hazing with our first charger, they get him over there. I don't appreciate this. <laughs> we completed our first double mission, and Scarlet and I somehow managed to deal more damage to allies than Zoe. When did I do 13,000 friendly fire damage? Scarlet did 5,536 friendly fire damage and didn't kill somebody. But enough stupidly high friendly fire numbers. Things are going to start getting challenging. Oh my god! Not only have Chargers gone from being a boss objective to a common enemy, but the invisible stalkers have started sneaking their way through our mission zones. Time to call in some backup. Ah, why did you wait so long? 
Eagles are personal fighters that will remain in the mission area for quick call-ins and fast rearm times. Once their munitions are depleted, they will return to the destroyer to resupply and come back with enough explosives to blast anything in your way. Let's see how the bugs fare now! Alright, clearly we're still ill-prepared. Not only was our squadron split in half the whole mission, but Scarlet was caught trying to escape the mission area and was deemed a traitor. Be mindful, Helldiver, any actions taken against Super Earth will result in orbital bombardment until the traitor is eliminated. Avoid bombardment targets until the threat is neutralized. The security of managed democracy is more important than collateral damage. With that pointless sacrifice behind us, it's time to reevaluate our tactics. Adam's gonna go drink some liberty while I help our cadets expand their weapon and artillery allowance. By the next day, we acquired many more stratagems to combat the difficulty escalation. Corrosive gas, explosive shotgun bursts, and even napalm explosives loaded onto Scarlet's Eagle. But the fire I'm more interested in is my own. <laughs> The flamethrower is a staple of bug erasing technology, and now you can take that glory and bestow it upon the Terminids. The flaming liquid it dispenses sets everything ablaze, including yourself. But all this close range carnage just makes me yearn for something more. Something melee. Don't worry, I'm coming in with my sword. I command I demand my melee weapons within the coming months. After escorting civilians to safety and- Okay, so we all need this last guy, right? Nope. Did you just shoot him? Yeah. We reunited with Sergeant Adam and proceeded to the hard missions. Now, there are no words in the English language I can use to describe what happens after this point. The only thing that comes close is the pain increases. Not only did we have our first encounter with Bio Titans, which we expertly dispatched. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Right here. No! Right here. Right here. Yes! Oh, got him. We got him! But the biggest threat on the battlefield became evident. Uh, I don't know where that's going, actually. Oh my god! Uh, AJ, why are you down there? Mm -hmm. ah! Poor communication and large stratagems resulted in the loss of many combatants. On top of that, the Mechanist had devised the most efficient way to smithereen anything moving in the mission area. The Mortar Turret is both the most powerful and dangerous machine in the game. And yes, that includes the automatons. This structure fires barrages of four high explosive mortar shells at any enemies in its massive radius. You'd think it would hit the closest or largest group of targets, but I'm convinced Shadows programmed it to target us. Frankly, anyone who gets killed by my mortars is just low-key a bug. She is a threat to democracy, and any turret user is in league with the automatons. Do you think this is some kind of a joke? That I'm blowing this situation out of proportion? Oh, Shadow, why? Hold on, I need different music for this. Feast your eyes on the tyranny of the Mechanist! Oh, no! So anyway, the mortar turret is pretty good. While she was busy erasing everything on the map, the rest of us were enjoying the explosive power of the rocket launchers. The expendable anti-tank is a fairly common weapon that can be found scattered around the mission area, not only because you'll find deceased civilians clutching them, but also because the cooldown on demanding more is extremely short, so anyone with the stratagem equipped will litter the zone with them. But if you want a launcher that won't break every time it's fired, you can call down the recoilless rifle. Blast them! Ah! This weapon is nearly identical to the EAT, with the added bonus of extra munitions. The problem is that the ammo is too massive and heavy to be carried anywhere other than your back. 
Weapons with ammo backpacks can be used in one of two ways. Either you pick up the backpack yourself and go stationary every time you reload, or have a friend wear it and feed you ammo for maximum carnage. Now that we all got our fix of high explosives, let's head on over to the extreme missions. I said we got our fix. I never said we'd stop obliterating things, especially with the trials ahead. With biotines becoming more common than accidentals, we need to continue using bigger and better explosives. <laughs> that fing obliterated his. And what's more powerful than the 500 kilogram bomb? This high-yield explosive is dropped from your eagle and jams itself into whatever surface it collides with before... This warhead is nearly as powerful as the mini-nuke shell from the Seath, with the added bonus of being resupplied upon your eagle's return. It does an excessive amount of damage over a wide radius, but do you know what does more damage over the entire tri-state area? The 380mm barrage. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> This salvo of high explosives indiscriminately annihilates anything unlucky enough to be hit by it. Why, 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 why do you have to use that thing? Because it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's not exactly the most consistent way to atomize your goals, but putting your faith in Lady Luck, and more importantly the sadistic psychopath manning the cannon, can result in some of the most satisfying achievements. Oh. Um, what if I guide you towards the 380 I just threw, huh? How do you feel about that file time? Come here. Wouldn't that involve you walking into the 380? I don't know what you're talking about. I- I am a tactical genius! With my favorite orbital out of the way, now is the perfect time to mention my favorite support weapon! The autocannon is normally mounted atop a vehicle or tripod and has been salvaged for use on the front lines. It is a jack of all trades and master of most of them, sure. On the surface, it seems to just be a comically large gun that shoots bullets the size of salt shakers. But this weapon is the pinnacle of democratic utility. The explosive rounds fired from this mechanical marvel can obliterate medium armor, collapse spawners, dismantle towers, destroy spore spewers, and all while having AoE damage range speed a simple solution for any D. Oh, you bitch. If you have the patience of a Jack Black character and find yourself needing to do something, call down the autocannon and get things done. With no bug hole left undevastated, don't take that out of context, we can proceed to the next mission. Most hell divers don't make it past this point. As such, these missions are deemed as self-sacrifice. So let's go beat the odds, and I have the perfect stratagem to properly batter him. It's about time we dusted off the arch nemesis of every invertebrate, the sun. Just like our forefathers incinerating ants with curved lenses and juvenile sadism, we have focused heat and energy into a laser beam that scorches everything it passes through. I'm using my, my epic move, magnifying glass. This plasma wall is exceptional at clearing large hordes of weak enemies, but has a difficult time boiling heavily armored targets from the inside. That's where my assistants come into play. <laughs> Since I'm preoccupied with the best weapon in the game, Adam and Scarlet have donned the spear, a homing missile that rips through armor and brain tissue like... a, a spear. <laughs> I guess we have an answer to the spear and shield paradox, and that edge has given us the firepower to push past the seventh difficulty and onto the missions heralded as being impossible. With each mission, the swarms increased. Chargers have gone from being mini-bosses to a constant presence, and Biotines shroud the sky with their legs for days and caustic breath. If only we could clear up the horizon a bit. That's right, Helldiver, I was saving the best for last. The Orbital Rail Cannon is a magnetic weapon attached to your ship that catapults metal cylinders into the biggest thing near you. Unlike most other stratagems, this bad boy is actually manned by someone who can aim. They do get distracted sometimes, but whatever they hit will either be sent straight to hell or have a juicy head wound for you to pour bullets into. Now that we finally have all our weapons in order, there is only one mission left to take on. The Hell Dive.
just like that, we've beaten every challenge the Terminids have created for us with minimal amounts of treason. I'm so hostile to our Thunder Mortals. I can't think of a single reason. Oh. <laughs> I can't think of a single reason. Bang! But wait a minute. That's not the only threat to democracy, and we still have some runtime remaining. So why don't we go check out the other front and defend against the automatons? And what better place to help this hold out than Malevolon Creek? This beautiful blue planet has been tarnished by the red haze of the automatons since the beginning of their resurgence. Many Helldivers have lost their lives trying to liberate this planet from machine control, so it's up to us to stop these communists and save this beautiful world. Unlike the hive structure of the Terminids, the automatons are autonomous, and by extension, intelligent. Intelligent enough to realize that we can kill them. Firing upon automatons will distress them and make their accuracy decrease. This is wonderful news, since most of them wield ranged weaponry. But if suppressive fire isn't an option, using the cover of flora, smoke, and terrain will keep you from becoming Swiss cheese. He broke my rock! He broke my rock! The heavy units of the Robot Rebels deal excessive amounts of damage and can engage from almost any range. Pair that with their own landmines, turrets, and mortars, and you have a devastating force that can decide your fate in an instant. OH MY GOD! But the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Or, I guess in this case, go nuclear. All we need to do now is find their weakness. I guess it would make sense that their weakness would be their weak point. The automatons have glowing vents and visors for you to riddle with explosives, and just like any other machine, boring a hole through the center of it voids the warranty. Unlike the Terminids taking round after round, tickling the no-no square of the automatons will make them explode before they can return the favor. Oh, got Ow! And this fragility doesn't stop there. If you want to halt their reinforcements before they land, you can blast their ships out of the sky using rockets. But that's not the only way to take them down. If you're lucky, you can find a sentry buried in the wilderness. Using your mad computer skills, you can activate a SAM turret that will send any drop pods from the air to the surface. Yeah! Is that a yeah! Amazing. With all that out of the way, me and my comrades are going to continue fighting for our freedom. Will you? Some of you may die, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Hey! Whoa, 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 We can talk about this. Yeah, we can talk about how many pieces I'm gonna mail you back in. Wait, mines over where? Where are the mines? Wait, where are these mines you're speaking of? Wait, I don't know where the mines are, though. Where are the mines? Wait, mines? Where are the mines? Oh my god! Out of my head, too. That was you? I thought that was a bug, you bastard. Sorry, Scarlet. Are you stuck? in the building. Oh. Well, she's not anymore. Huh? Oh my god. He's coming at you here, Brian. Ow. I, I died to you somehow. Uh, explosive shotgun is apparently big. Ah! Why do stalkers hate me so much? Oh my god! My life for Oh my god, I'm stuck on a tree. I'm stuck on a tree. Help. Help. Help! 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 PJ, you got that charger, right? Ah! Ah! No. The answer is no. Oh no, I'm stuck on a corpse! Oh! No, 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 no! I. Uh, oh my god! I'm inside a charger. I can't. I'm just stimming. Oh! This is not overkill, Shadow. This is a perfectly adequate amount of kill. I'm, yeah. I'm coming, guys. I'll get there, I think. Just walk between the three chargers, you'll be fine. <laughs> oh my god! I got ragdolled away from the drop point. I'm dead. I got one shot. Uh, oh, guys! Get guys! 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 No! Let me go! 
My leg is broken! Don't worry, Auto Cannon Man is here to clear all the bug holes and die. Oh, sick flip, bro! And then I just insta died. Speaking of insta died. Oh, it's bad. What the fuck? Oh! Oh my god, AJ! I wish you luck, Shadow. <laughs> okay, I think I got them before they can call. Ah! Area secured. Ah! Oh, is that what that is? Oh, I couldn't see. Ah! Oh no! I got snuck up on by 50 wild boys! What the f That's it, I'm getting oh the ship God. for that. Oh. Uh, um. Hey, Brian. Scarlet, you, you broke it. Scarlet, it's broken. She's all the way up there. Look, there's the ship. It's over there. What did I do? Go, 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 go. We can still get in. <laughs> it's a ragdoll. Come back. Come back. What the fuck did you do? It looks normal on my screen. Oh my god! Oh, here, run. There's a bug on you. That's all right. That's not a bug. Ah! Don't worry, AJ. I'll save you. Ah! <laughs> I survived. No! I welcome death. <laughs> oh my god! We have to dumb to question me, I'm correct. What was that noise, Herbrun? Was that the sound of you learning your place? Was that the sound of you knowing that you are not safe at any range? Long live the king. You guys killed it too fast. Ready to... Ah! Squish! Squish! AJ Squish one. Uh, at what cost? At the cost of being fucking radical, that's what. Ah! Hey, uh, big gun. Bang. <laughs> oh my god, his leg killed me. Shadow. Shadow. Oh, guys. Zoe. Have to. Ah! It got distracted. Ah! Oh, what did I die to Zoe? What happened? Oh. Ah! Oh. No! The rat! Oh my god! What were you scared of, AJ? Why is there a 380? Um... Oops. <laughs> Bro, AJ straight up dropped a 380 on the ground. He just, he pulled it out and dropped it. Butterfingers. Darn it. I'M MAKING IT OFF THIS PLANET! Oh my god, are we all gonna it? YES! <laughs> and there you have it, a glimpse into what it takes to be a Helldiver, along with a bunch of toys you get to play with when you enlist. The enemies of managed democracy are closing in on all sides, and I fear more lie just beyond the veil. So spend your war bonds, grab your shiniest Xenoslayer, and spread the joy of liberty by freeing their bodies from their heads. Special thanks to the tax dollars of our beloved Super Earth citizens for funding this project, and I'll see you when we take back Malevolon Creek.